today we are doing another Zodiac inspired look using the NYX Swear By It palette of Kohl's. And yeah, I'm sorry if this video is a little bit weird. I'm kind of experimenting with a new place to film. So if I shake the camera or if like the angle's weird, I'm sorry about that. But without further ado, let's just get into this video. You're about to see me with just one eye done and let's get into it. I'm gonna start with this yellow right here and kind of just start packing stuff on and blending it out. I don't know if this will be like the best angle to be honest. Er, no, okay. I'm gonna pack it on. And honestly, I didn't even think about it. Um, I set the concealer on my lid already, but if you do it with like wet concealer, these colors will pop like way more. I just don't think about that stuff, you know? I'm not an Instagram baddie, so. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom, just the inner third. And I'm sorry about this weird angle. I'm kind of experimenting with other places to film right now other than the bedroom, so just bear with me. But then I'm gonna take this lighter color just on the inner corner with the same brush. So there's still a little bit of yellow on there. Just want it to be a brighter yellow, if that makes sense. And I wanna keep everything matte. We're gonna add a little pop later of some glamour. Glitz and glamour. Just kind of blend that out. Really, like all the way up into the crease. And anyway, let's get started talking about some Aries people, shall we? This was actually really inspired by my friend Jess. She is an Aries Leo Leo. So she is just like a fiery ball of sunshine. And I was gonna go for like a sunset eye type of thing using these same colors, but I just didn't think it was bright enough. This is the third time I'm trying to film this and the first two just weren't coming out the way I wanted. So I want it to be really nice and bright and impactful, but still keeping that like fire, sunshine, goodness, if that makes sense. So then I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go in with this. And Aries are like very brave people. So if anyone would be brave enough to rock a yellow lid, like on a Tuesday, it would probably be an Aries, you know? So just kind of blend these together. I have a Sagittarius rising. I think that I'm kind of, I you know, I can be homies with the other fire signs, you know? And I feel like Aries are kind of on that same wavelength of being like pretty blunt. Um, I feel like they're they're blunt in different ways, if that makes sense. I feel like a Sagittarius is blunt, like they just tell you like it is and they don't care if you if they hurt your feelings. But an Aries is more like, um, they literally just say whatever they're thinking all the time. They fly by the seat of their pants, basically. Um, probably more than like a lot of other signs. Like I think them and like Aquarius maybe, they just are so, random they're like little tornadoes running around so if they offend somebody or do something wrong like during their tornado they might feel bad but they also kind of move on like very quickly they just don't uh, they just don't hold on to things the way that other signs tend to but it's not a bad thing I, I probably say that in every video i kind of appreciate what everyone is like anyway so taking a mixture of these two the outer corner. I get the very outer corner. And I didn't talk about this in my Leo video, but I feel like fire signs don't get enough credit for the good advice that they can give. I think that um, earth signs, especially Capricorns, get a ton of credit for being the signs that give really good advice and they're really good listeners and stuff. But I wouldn't leave a Leo or an Aries 
out of that situation. I think that fire signs in general have this like innate ability to like read people and read a room, which I don't think that a lot of earth signs have. I think that earth signs are good at giving advice because especially like Capricorns, like they just, they observe life and then they can give advice based on that. And they also tend to like experience a lot in life. I feel like Aries and Leos and Sagittarius's are just they can they just know I don't know it's like this thing that they're born with like that fire they can just tell they can read a room it makes them really good like conversationalists I think like that's why I also think that people think fire signs are usually like they always want to be the center of attention but they're just you know they're into people they can read other people they can tell like what you're feeling and they don't get enough credit for that okay you make like 47,000 brushes dirty when you do a technique like this because didn't want to like mix brushes. So you like pack on and then blend out with a different brush. But that's kind of, we're gonna do just the same thing on the lower lash line. Kind of match this up. Also I think maybe Aries especially don't get credit for being like good listeners because they do have a temper but if you can kind of get past that and you just are able to eventually sit down and talk to them they can be really good listeners and they give really good advice. Blendy, 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 blendy. Especially my friend Jessica. She's like, oh my gosh. I'm like obsessed with her. I met her through Lush. I'm going to put up a bunch of pictures of her. She is like so fucking fun. She gives great advice. She's like, her Instagram is so inspirational. Like her little Instagram stories that she does. She's just so cute and she's such a little, like I said, like she's literally just a ray of sunshine. She's so fun and bright and she is unapologetically herself and she feels what she feels. I think that that's also why fire signs give really good advice because they do have tons of feelings and they're not afraid to show their feelings and feel their feelings. Like they're not emotional like a water sign and then keeps it all inside no they feel what they feel they put it out there they're just they're just out there and i love that about them i'm like not like that at all and i think um it's really great because not a lot of people are like that they feel what they feel and they're unapologetically emotional and i love that about jess too she's not ashamed of her emotions and she's not she doesn't let people tell her that her feelings are wrong. And that is a beautiful, 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 beautiful quality that I'm sure a lot of people want, you know, to just be assertive in your emotion. And a lot of people lack that. I lack that sometimes. It's a really good quality. I think Aries definitely have that. We're gonna add a little bit of sparkle. A little bit of sparkle. But overall, this is kind of an easy eye. Like, it's pretty quick, but so beautiful. So I'm actually gonna mix the gold and this, like, rusty orange. And I'm gonna do it on the center of the top and the bottom. I originally put it on the bottom as, like, a little fire, like the little embers, but I ended up putting it on the top, too. It just adds a little something, something. I didn't spray my brush or anything, it just, I wanted it to add a little bit of depth and sparkle and beauty. <laughs> and if anything, I'm just, you know, channeling my Aries randomness, my Aries tornado. And I feel like if an Aries looked at a palette like this, they would do an eye and they'd be like, ooh, sparkle, ooh, blue, you know? So it just adds that little bit more like 
depth and like the sparkle is so pretty and it catches your eye in the most like subtle, beautiful way. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's put on some mascara. This was so short. What a quick little video. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too short of a video. I'm so sorry if it was. Hopefully you Aries people don't feel totally left out or scammed or uh, what uh, shortchanged. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just put on some mascara and like a warm nude lip. I have some like peachy skin happening. I actually did film this skin look and I want to do like, it's basically like a tutorial, like a skin focused peachy look. And I just thought it would be really cute with like the warm eye and the warm lips. So I just filmed that as well. So keep a lookout for that video. That should be up soon. If you're interested in like a skin focused look where I talk about all my favorite products, full coverage, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, hope you like this video. I hope that I embodied in Aries and this is a good insp inspired, inspired video. I hope it applies, you know, I hope you feel included. And we're nearing the end of the Zodiac. I think after this, I only have three left of these Zodiac looks. So yeah, of course, always using the NYX Square By It palette just to keep it all the same. It would have been better if, you know, I did all these looks in a month, but instead it's taken me like eight months. So sorry about that. But if you have this, at least you'll have a lot of ways to use it. The next few videos actually should all be Zodiac looks too. So keep an eye out for those. I hope that you like this video. Uh, let me know down below what you think. And also um, in my description bar, like my Instagram is down there. Anything you want to know should be there. If it's not, just uh, leave a comment and I will get back to you. Mm, I really like this look. It came out more wearable than I thought it would. So I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh, girl. Okay.